Hi, I'm Carl Franklin. In this episode of Blazor Train, I'll show you how to get around an issue with anchor navigation that happens because of how Blazor handles routing. Blazor sucks! The solution isn't mine. Idiot! I... Hey, Don Rickles called from the grave. He wants his insults back. Anyway, I found it in a blog post by Harald Barre a Microsoft MVP and Blazor enthusiast. I'll show you the default behavior in a non-Blazor HTML file, the same HTML not working as a Blazor page, and then we'll talk about Harard's ingenious workaround. And that's all coming up right now, right here on Blazor Train. Blazor Train! So I'm starting with a simple HTML demo. So I've got a welcome header and a bunch of text. And then down halfway, I've got a demo header and a bunch of text. And the whole idea is that I can link to those areas in the page with standard HTML. So if I say go to demo, boom, we're down at the demo. Now take a look at the URL. You see hashtag demo at the end there, I could take that, pass it to somebody, and they can put it in their browser, and it brings them right to that section in the page. All right, so those are the two behaviors of HTML that don't work in Blazor. Let's take a look at the source. So this is the key right here. We give an anchor, an element, or whatever, an ID, welcome, and then we have a link to that ID, href equals hashtag welcome, or hashtag demo if you go down to the demo section. Guess what? The h1 ID is demo. So this very simple thing you'd think would work in Blazor. I'm going to copy this into the clipboard, and we'll go into Visual Studio and see what happens. Now I've got two projects here. One is Blazor Server, one is Blazor WebAssembly. I wanted to bring them both up because they don't work for slightly different reasons, but they don't work in either. So let's take over index in the Blazor Server application, and I'm going to replace all this content with my HTML. And I'm just going to run it. Let's see what happens. If I say go to demo, nothing happens. If I go to welcome, nothing happens. Well, what if I go down here and say, go to welcome? Well, that seemed to work, but let's see what go to demo does. Brings us back to the top. And that is the behavior in Blazor. No matter where you click in an anchor, it's going to bring you back to the top. If you're at the bottom, you say, go to demo, bring you back to the top. Why is this? Well, for the answer, let's go to a great blog post that I found online. And this blog post is by Harald Barre. Sorry, Harald, if I am butchering your name. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I'm guessing. His nickname is Meziantu. I've uh, featured his content on Blazor Train before. All right, so here's the gist of it. I'm going to skip over the top because I just talked about that. Why anchor navigation doesn't work in a Blazor application? Well, in Blazor Server, the DOM isn't loaded until on after render. So in uninitialized or on parameters set, the DOM doesn't exist. So that's problem number one. Problem number two is that Blazor takes over the routing. So the whole hashtag thing doesn't work in Blazor. In the case of a Blazor WASM application, it first loads the .NET runtime and the application DLLs before doing any rendering. So you have that extra step there. So needless to say, this is really the issue. Blazor handles the navigation events for routing purposes. So this behavior is disabled. So what Herald has proposed is using a component to simulate anchor navigation. It's really, really brilliant. So he's basically saying, create a component in the shared folder called Anchor Navigation Razor. 
So let's just do that and then we'll look at it in Visual Studio. All right, so looking up the top, we're using JavaScript, so he's got the JS runtime, we're using the navigation manager, and we also have to implement iDisposable because we have to unhook the navigation manager location changed event when we're done. So when we initialize, we're hooking up the location changed event. On disposed, we're removing the event handler, location changed, on location changed. And on after render async, we're calling scroll to fragment. Also on location changed, scroll to fragment. So what are these two and why do we have to do them differently? Well, when we navigate to this page, the first time it renders, the location, the URL where we are, could include a hashtag anchor name. So that's why we want to call scroll to fragment right when we load. On location change is going to happen whenever somebody clicks on an anchor element and wants to navigate on the page. So in both of these cases, we're going to be handling it with this guy right here, scroll to fragment. Now, ultimately, we're going to do this scroll to ID with JavaScript. We'll get to that in a second. But the first thing we're going to do is get the URI fragment and see if it starts with the hashtag. And if it does, we're going to look to see if it has this kind of selection syntax, which is fairly new for Chromium-based browsers. Um, this is a way that you can not only scroll to an area of the page, but you can highlight a block of text that's on the page. So this is a very cool feature, but we need to remove all that stuff and just worry about this right here. And that's just an example. So what we're doing here is we're looking for this signature. And if we find it, the first position of that in the fragment, we're going to remove it. And now if we have an element left over, which we should, we're going to call blazor scroll to ID in JavaScript. So what does that look like? Well, let's add it. We're going to go to layout CSHTML, and I'm going to add it right here. And I'm going to get this right out of that blog post. Here it is. So basically we're calling get element by ID. And if the element is an HTML element, we're going to call scroll into view. Next, if you scroll down a little bit in the demo, his demo, there's a little CSS that we can use because the content will probably be hidden underneath a fixed header. So this basically sets a margin. So we'll go to our CSS, we'll do this right, and we'll just add that right here. Now the only thing we have left to do is scroll to the bottom of our index page and add that component. That's it, that's all we have to do. Let's run it. Go to demo, boom, demo. Let's go down to the bottom, go to welcome. There it is, it works. Now here's the key. Can we take this link right here, go to a new tab, paste it and automatically go to demo? Yes, we can. There it is. So that works. Now the only thing we have left to do is test it on WebAssembly. Let me fix up this Anchor NavWasm project, set that as the startup project, and I'll just add the code from the other one. Yes, yes, it works. So, thank you, Meziantu. Uh, you come to the rescue once again. Uh, you helped me in a project that I was working on, and uh, I'm sure some Blazor train passenger out there is going to need this and will be watching and very appreciative of what you do and this particular solution. Thanks. Now back to you in the studio, Carl. So there you go. It's short, sweet, and full of nutritional value, just like me. Don't you dare. Hey, thanks for riding the rails with me today. This is where I jump off. I'll see you next time. Blaze a train.